Welcome to the video that's going to show you how to save your apps from MIT App Inventor to your portfolio page. You're going to create a portfolio page where you're going to create a QR code that's good for to install your app on any Android phone or device, um, tablet, um, phone, even a Chromebook. As long as they scan, that QR code is going to be good forever, not just two hours. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and start creating our portfolio page. So here, I'm at my portfolio page. You can see the front page is myself. I have a little bit about, about everything. And this is our first app. So you can see on the left side, I have my apps. I'm going to go to first grading term. Then I'm going to click on new post. Because I want to create a new assignment. So here I'm going to type my favorite animals, soundboard, and inside of here we're going to have a couple different things. So we're going to go to our class page, app design one, Scroll down, go to first grading term, and you can see we built the apps here. Then we have turning in apps on their portfolio page. There's the video. But here is where I'm walking you through. You can see it says go to my apps first, you know, the current grading term. We clicked on new post, untitled. Actually, I named it wrong. It should be my favorite animals, right? I don't even have soundboard there, but I'll leave it. Create the page. Then we're going to create this part. It says create a section header called description. Then below that header, type the description of the assignment. So I'm going to type description. And below this, So make it a section header. I'm going to make this bold. And I'll make this 16. And I'll come down. So there's my description. I have a section header description. Here you're going to type your description about the assignment, what you think the assignment was. Code. Create a test section header called code. Below the section, insert the code blocks you needed to complete this assignment. Explain each code block's functionality. So, do the same thing, call code, below is the code used to create this app. I'll create my section header, making it bold, making it 16. Now here it's telling us to insert the code blocks. So we're going to have to go back to MIT and App Inventor, go here to blocks, these are all the blocks that I need, right? They're all the same, so I can actually grab the entire thing. If they were different, I would need to. So on Windows, there's something called the snipping tool. It allows you to grab a screenshot of anything on your current um, display. And you simply would do a search for snipping tool, use that tool, and you can grab it. On Mac, the same thing you can use is you have to use your keyboard. You do Command, Shift, and 4. Then you can see this little crosshatch comes up. It looks very similar on Windows on the snipping tool. You have to have Windows 7 or later to use the snipping tool, by the way. But on, we simply drag around this like that. You can see I grabbed a snip of that. It saves it on Mac automatically. On the snipping tool, it'll show you it, and then you're able to save it. So I want to insert my code here. In order to do that, I'm going to go to Insert, Image, click on Upload, and the way Mac does it is it saves it to your desktop. It's the last one, screenshot. You can see that's it there. Screenshot from 9-9 is 6.30, 6 a.m. Click on that to upload my image. 
and I have my image inside of there. Now, back on the class page, it also says explain each code block's functionality. So below this, I'm going to push enter. You're going to type your personal description about each code block's functionality. And I'm not going to give you that. I'm just typing this for now. So you should explain what those blocks do. Go down. You can see back on the page, I have a reflection question section. Create a section header reflection questions below the section of questions. Copy and paste the following questions into your portfolio page, then answer each question. So let's make our section header reflection questions like that. I'm going to go ahead and make it bold and 16. Then I need to copy these questions in. So I'm going to copy these and paste them in. And then here, answer to this question. I'm going to change the color so you can see it. That's the answer, your answer to this question. Your answer to this question. Your answer to this question. I'm actually going to make all my stuff blue. My um, things to keep it consistent. Blue. Oh. I want that blue, the background blue. I want this to be blue. And I want my code. Yep. Oh, messing up. And this is where I'm typing in the description of that. So, super easy. Next part is my QR code. So it says type a section header, QR code, scan the QR code below, make my section header to install this app on your Android device. You can see that here, create a section header, scan this QR code to install the app on your Android device. So we have to create a QR code. How do we do that? QR codes um, simply are a link to something on the internet. For our instance, we want to link to our APK file. Remember, APK style stands for Android Package Kit. So here, we need to grab our APK file. Remember, you can access, try to install your app in two ways. You click here on build. The first option, provide a QR code for you. Remember, this option only provides it for two hours. We don't want that. We want our, someone to install our app forever. Um, the first option, they save that APK file on the MIT server. The reason it's only good for two hours is because they can't hold everyone's APK files forever. What we're going to do is click on the second one, save APK to our computer. We're going to grab that APK file place it on the internet, and then we're able to create a QR code that anyone can scan forever, and it will install our app on our phone or our device. So once we do that, you can see it's going through, it's trying to build um, our finished Android package kit or our completed app. When it's done, it should pop up, ask me to save it somewhere. And when we do that, we can complete the process. So there we go. For now, I'm going to save it to my desktop. You can see it's Animal Sounds 2016, period three. I'll save it. Now, it's on my computer. I'll show you it. You can see this means Mac doesn't know 
what type of file that is dot apk max do not it's, a, it's for android if this was a chromebook it would allow me to install it directly on my chromebook we have it so you don't want to open it there is a way if you wanted to open it on your mac you would use a program called bluestacks um, but we're going to actually install it using a QR code um, on from the internet so it's on our computer we need to put it to the internet well this is our portfolio page and it is on the internet very bottom you can see right here we have add files I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna go locate my there it is Animal Sounds 2016 period 3 click on upload so now remember QR codes are simply a link to something on the internet this is now on the internet and I know because I can download it and this is the link I need in order to create my QR code so I don't want to download I actually want to right click and you can see I can do copy link address here so now I have the link address to this APK file which I can create a QR code with to create a QR code simply go to Google QR code generator, right? Let's select the first one. Why not? Most of them are really good. I paste in my link. You can see it's my link. When you upload it to Google, it gives you this extra stuff. You could leave it there. I choose to take mine out. I just want to get directly to the file. And then I go ahead and push create. This is a QR code. So now if I scan that with my phone or device, and I can show you. So here's my phone. You can see I see the website address. And if I click on that, you'll see it's trying to install it on my phone. So this site allows me to download it, but some sites don't, so I'm going to use this snipping tool again. Remember on a Mac, it's Command, Shift, and the number 4. It gives me this little crosshatch. So I'm grab that. Come back here. I'm going to do Insert Image. Remember, it saves it to your desktop. That's the one that I just did, 645. I insert it there. Oops. Click OK. And I have my QR code. So I have my description, my code, my reflection questions. I have my QR code where anyone can install this. Again, this is good forever because this file is up on the internet now. Anyone that scans this can install our app on their phone. You can send this web page to your family, your friends, they can install it. So one last thing we want to add. So we're trying to mirror this page to look very professional. Let me just change this page. I'm going to go to the Google Play Store. And let's check out any app. So, Pokemon Go. Why not? You can see on this page, it has the name of the app. It has some screenshots. Then it has a description. Well, if you look at ours, we have the name of the app. We have a description. We have some other stuff. But what we're missing is this. We don't actually show our app. So you can see it has screenshots of our app, right? If I go back and go to another app, same thing. Let's go to PBS. Same thing here. Sometimes they even have videos of the app, right? But they have screenshots. So we're missing what does our app look like on our portfolio page? Yeah, this looks nice, but people should see what it looks like. So very simple. We want to grab a screenshot of what our app looks like. So use my snipping tool again. I drag around this area here. Remember it's Command Shift 4 on a Mac on the number 4. And on a Windows just simply use your snipping tool. So I saved it. Now underneath description I'm going to put it here. Insert image, upload this. 
save it to my desktop. There's my guy there. I click OK. And you see I have that. Now, I want my text to be aligned to the right. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to move it up. It moved it to the very top. But you can see descriptions there. In order to wrap my text on your portfolio site, if I click on my image, you can see this little options bar pops up for your image. So I can make my stuff left, center, right. I can make it smaller, medium, large, or the original size. Here is wrapping on. Currently it's wrapped off. So I'm going to turn wrapping on. And I want my guy on the left. And let's see, let's make it medium like that. I like that. So we have now a professional portfolio page. We have what the app looks like. We have your description of the app. We have the code blocks. We have a description of what the code blocks do. We have our reflection questions and we have our QR code. I can go ahead and push save. So now it's publishing this to the internet. When it's done, I can actually turn this back in on our portfolio, on our class website. So I'll let that publish for now. Actually, it's been published. So now this is live on the internet. This is my link, right? Very bottom, you can see turn in your assignment. Copy and paste the web address of your portfolio file into a notepad or text document. Save it as period name assignment and then upload the file below. So I'm on a Mac. So I'm going to create a new text document, right? On Windows, you would use Notepad. Simply going to paste that link in. I'm going to save it. File save. I'm going to save it to my desktop just like I did before. And they said it was period, let's just say period one, Jamie Gant, my favorite animals. And you can see that. I'll give you an example here of that. Then you're simply going to choose the file, desktop, I have to find it, period one, there's my file, it's simply a link, click OK, and I push upload. And that's how you turn in all your apps on your portfolio page. You're going to create a new post. So if you come to the current grading term, you're going to create a new post. Then you're going to create a page that looks like this. It has a picture of your app. It has a description of your app. It has the coding blocks for your app. It has the reflection questions that you will get from the class website on that assignment page and then it's going to have the QR code that you're going to need for anyone to install that app. That's how I'm able to test your app works. So you make sure you have your QR code because without that um, the rubric shows that it's the minimum grade you can get is a 1.5 and that's if you have everything else. Anyway, good luck and if you have questions you can go always re rewind this video to the certain parts and make sure you have your portfolio pages correct. On to the next video to create your next app.